Hey, it's Edge here and today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. Now, another update video and last update was created around 25th of April, a couple of days ago. So let's get an update and see where we're going at on Bitcoin price. Now, <clears throat> the previous idea was that we had a five wave structure here coming down. Now those targets were hit pretty perfectly here uh, at that low of 25th April, of April and after that we've had some kind of weird price action that does not seem to be complying with this current count anymore. So we're going to go through the options that we have next. Um, so basically let's pull up some, some of these um, lines that we've had and see what has been happening in the couple last couple of days. Uh, quite a few lines here but I want to keep them to give confluence of the price action that has happened. So again I think we were around here at the lows of 25th of April. Um, there was a monthly that we bounced off of and since then we've gone ac across this naked session point of control here uh, with this large volume node with a point of control from the range of 21st of April to current date and that gave us a small bounce back downwards but wasn't enough to keep price down. After that we again bounced higher um, and took another naked point of control, got a massive downwards movement of around one and a half percent um, and then we had this VWAP, anchored VWAP from the highs of uh, 21st of April um, that gave us a, again bounce upwards and again gave us one more high up here. Now at this point we had a divergence already happening so um, we were expecting downwards movement. Um, this wave up is actually a really long one from the lows of the t January 24th um, giving some confluence to that area where we actually bounced from. We tapped the wave up twice here and we were also around the area uh, of this range value area high from, from the 11th of April to current price and that gave us some nice bounce down. Now as we started heading down first we hit this naked session point of control that didn't seem to be having any effect on price to be honest at least on one hour chart. Um, we established another naked point of control up here um, and that still remains there. I removed that, oops, that naked point of control here. Damn. There we go. And after that we've just been crashing, crashing down like the stock market did. Um, I was not expecting this large of a movement so suddenly, but it is fine. Um, I took a small short here but most of my position was already closed here at the point of control. Um, I, let, I think I let like 25% or something to ride as, as I was expecting us to bounce higher. Um, however, on a one hourly we negated any, any kind of a divergence here and, and actually currently um, we have divergence again. Now this time it's bearish towards downside a continuation but as we came down again we had multiple areas we were going against we have had the point of control of larger range and this is from the 24th of February this red line point of control of a really large range um, where we had also this naked point of control um, at that time we just went straight through it uh, but currently we're just backtesting that as a resistance and probably at least we bounce a couple times now see if this holds or not but again another naked point of control that didn't have too much of an effect or session point of control 
which is usually they do. Again, another naked session or naked point of control here went through and back tested it. Not much of a support there or resistance. Um, down here we had an, this monthly again that we visited earlier again with another session point of control that we hadn't tapped before. Now, as the price came down lower, we hit actually this long time weekly target um, and about this about this area was also the targets where we had for the fifth wave as, as well. Um, the targets were at least the 38.15 uh, for this pocket here. Also, I was targeting this area as a possible ABC as this first move does not really look like a five way move. Um, so I was preparing for some kind of profit taking here and taking a small long here. Um, the 618 was again hit with the weekly around here, um, now giving us a bounce up. And that's how we ended up on the current prices. Um, now currently we have the di our bearish divergence here, but we'll see <laughs> the price would need to travel quite a lot, another 4% to nullify that. Um, and this is this was actually on smaller time frame, not one hourly. For example, 15 minutes. And we've had had this for quite a while now. So that has to be kept in mind. We of course we already did a small rejection here, but we'll see if that has any any effect. Again, we would have another bearish divergence um, smaller time frame here with these high peaks if this price here goes above the local highs made a couple hours ago. Okay let's get into Elliott Waves and see what possibilities we have. Let's close all these we don't need them for Elliott Waves at least for now. So again the idea was this large fireway move. Now the issue here is that um, this last leg or last whatever this is does not really look like a five-way move um, perhaps it could be five-way move down here um, and we would be looking at something else here um, just plopping down trend lines here seems to be having a great confluence around this area as well where we bounced from um, also we have another trend line up here so again if we have, or if we don't have a five-way move, can we have someone else? Yeah, we could. We could actually have some kind of one, two here, or a B, and then a C wave. Then we could have some kind of three-wave action here, another three-wave action here. Now, if this is another A, B, C, um, we could be looking for something going higher and then again lower, making this whole structure a W, X, Y. Now there's also a possibility here to say that this actually, this middle section here is a expanding triangle, which is super rare. Oh, well, not super rare, but quite rare uh, compared to normal. A contracting triangle. Mm. Again we would be targeting here around well let's see actually what are these targets for this current ones 1.618 here um, and here we go around 1.618 so we most likely would be expecting again 1.618 of the previous move which would bring us all the way up here around 45k um, I think depending on how high and how fast we go there um, we could be just falling short of that target to be honest uh, we would need to look into some volume data here the drop was higher than the previous moves but again we can see some kind of trend here 
of the highs going higher. Um, on contracting diagonals, that would be the other way around. Um, so again, we would need loads of volume to bring us the price up here. Now, what does what would that mean if the price comes up here? What is that then? Well, is this simply? We would be looking at three-way move here, a triangle here, A, B, C, D, E. Let me close that count we had before. And this would be, let's say, mining for now, for these reasons. And then we would just have this kind of move. That would definitely, most likely take out these lows. Um, let's take a, a quick look. What kind of targets would we be expecting? 0 0.618, again, the minimum uh, I would be targeting. Again, this is the fact if we got, come up to the 1.618 here. Um, targets around 39.4K, um, 1 to 1 here around 36.4 now anything between here or even it could even go below um, but I'm sure if that would be looking too good that would be again another X wave and we had we went through some possibilities in the last video on higher time frame so I'm not going to do that now but we still haven't swept these lows at all so it could be the case that we're just creating another smaller time frame a no, wxy and creating this last leg here before crashing down higher or lower sorry <laughs> but yeah i think that's all i wanted to share on bitcoin to you today so if you have another coin you would like me to analyze with elliot waves let me know down in the comments below for now, I thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you back on the channel soon. Bye-bye.